Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the main release, which is the March 2023 update or the Patch Tuesday. You can call it what you want. But the build that we're going to talk about today is the OS build 2000 621.1413. For those of you who don't know, in the C release of last month, Microsoft released the Moment 2 update for Windows 11 main release as a preview, as an optional update. Well, you will now have it on your system if you didn't receive it yet, along with this Patch Tuesday update. And in this video, I'm going to go through some of the most important Moment 2 updates or features that you can encounter in this build and also what is new in particular to this update. If you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about different Windows 11 updates, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. So first of all, as I've said, I'm going to talk about a few of the most important Moment 2 features that you can encounter in this build. And if you want to see the full list of new features from the Moment 2 update, you can check out the link in the description below that will redirect you to the video that I've made about the Moment 2 update. First of all, one of the most important features is the new system tray in Windows 11. As you can see, we have a new system tray with rounded corners, nice animations, and a nicer experience for the Windows 11 user in my opinion. Also, you have new animations when you pin something or when you unpin. I think this is really cool. You can have up to five items per row in this new system tray. Another new interesting and useful feature is the new energy recommendation inside the settings app. Basically, this is an option that will most likely help you if you have a laptop because it will help you save up your battery's life and also it will help you lower your carbon footprint. I think this is really useful and of course you can find a more in-depth presentation of this feature in the dedicated video below. And also another cool interesting addition are the new features and the new changes in the task manager alongside with the new visual changes and also the search box that you can use to type a name, publish or PID to search a process or a server service inside your Windows operating system. You also have some new dedicated settings that you can use. I think that is very nice. As I've said, if you want to see the full list of features that you can encounter in this moment to update, you can check out the dedicated video below in the video's description. Now, particular to this build, of course, the Patch Tuesday always addresses security issues for the Windows operating system. And if you want to see what this update does to the security side of Windows, you can check out the article below in the video description if you want to see more info about this. And also as a reminder, this update can contains all the other updates that you can encounter in the previous month's C release. If you want to learn more about how the main release system works, you will also have some information in the article below in the video's description. Also, this update implements phase three of distributed content object model hardening. After you install this update, you cannot turn off the changes using the registry key. And also, this update addresses an issue that affects a computer account and active directory. When you reuse an existing computer account to join an active directory domain, joining fails. This occurs when device that have installed Windows updates dated October 11th, 2022 or later. The error message is error 0xac2732 ne err account reuse blocked by policy. An account with the same name exists in the active directory. Reusing the account was blocked by security policy. For more information, of course, about this, you can check out the article below in the description. And as always, we also have a Windows 11 service and stack update, which basically ensures that you have a robust and reliable service and stack so that your devices can receive and install Microsoft updates. So basically, this is all there is to it. For this update for the Patch Tuesday or the March 2023 update, you can check out the article below and also the links below if you want to see the full list of Moment 2 features in this update or the full list of fixes and known issues that you can encounter in this update. I think this is a good one, so more information as I've said in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. This is Emmanuel from TechBase until next time, have a nice day.